Have you ever wondered what dollar store, you know, medicine is like? Well, we're gonna find out today. So we just got here at the dollar store. Um, we're gonna go get that medicine, see how good it is. I'm still sick, that's why I need it. Um, but I thought it'd be, you know, kind of fun just to try out and see how strong or how effective, you know, dollar store medicine is. All right, so let's try it. What's the difference between this one and this one? You get more in this one, wow. All right, dollar store haul. We got ibuprofen and we got this generic uh, NyQuil, DayQuil thingy. All right, we're gonna try the DayQuil thingy right now just so I can go through this day and survive it somehow. Um, we'll see how it goes. What's weird is you have to like peel back the label in order to see how much you're supposed to take. Like, I don't know, I just think that's so funny. It's so insane that you have to like, you know, go through all that work just to figure out how much of this you need to take. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this right now. All right, here we go, bottoms up. Honestly, not that bad. Um, it tastes just like Dayquil and all that, so it's just a generic, ooh, it hits kind of hard at the end. Um, just like Dayquil, but I think the true test is seeing how I feel, you know, probably an after take, an hour after taking this. Um, we'll see how that goes. Alright, gotta go back to work. Two hours later. I think I found one side effect to this, you know, really cheap medicine. And it's this, I'm craving a burrito really bad right now, like more than usual. So I'm gonna go grab one. I secured the bag. It's like my windows don't want to be clean. Disgusting. <laughs> asking yourself right now if this thing is as cheap as it is how can the quality be just as good as some you know big name brand medicine well there's a really good explanation for it and 
it'll show that it this thing can be just as cheap and just as good. <clears throat> Let me show you. So I was doing a little bit more research on this um, a couple months ago, and I did a little bit more today. And as you can kind of see here, the FDA has the same regulations on generic medicine as it does on big name brands. If anything, they require even more on it just so that they know the medicine is safe and usable and at the same quality as brand name medicine. But why is it so cheap? And that can be answered by looking at this other article where they explain that manufacturers don't necessarily have the expense to create a new drug and with it other manufacturers can look to buy the patent that big name drug makers have so that they too can sell the same drug which essentially is kind of like like this it's kind of like you know a franchise a franchise you know had a really high startup they had to figure out, you know, how to create a plan in order to create a product or service to provide to people. And initially, you know, it's a really big cost. But then what these big drug, ma drug makers can do now is they could pretty much franchise the patent out to other manufacturers who can make it just as good and even faster. And they collect, you know, kind of the money on the patent with that. And that's kind of why, you know, these drugs are so cheap because literally these other companies, these other manufacturers ended up buying the patent so that they can make it at a cheaper rate than these original big name companies did, but at the same quality and at the same effect as those big names. But as always, I always suggest that, you know, you do your own research because, you know, whatever you put into your body... You always want to make sure you know that it's safe um, but just looking at the things that I saw and I've you know done research on this before for myself um, for me I think it's pretty safe to say you know um, this can be just as good or even better as you know name brand medicines and with that I think I'm gonna take a little bit more and then go to sleep I'll see you guys tomorrow cheers medicine.